Police are hunting a firebug tonight who forced a school into lockdown in Perth's southern suburbs. 500 students were trapped as an out-of-control blaze tore through Bibral Lake. Their worried parents left waiting outside the fire zone. This was the moment just before noon firefighters lost control. A massive flare-up moving so quickly there was no time to evacuate a nearby school. 500 children and staff forced to shelter in the school hall with firefighters guarding them. Their parents notified by SMS told they could only wait on the fire boundary. There's not much else I can do until I'm told that where she is and what's happening. All I can do is wait in here. And the school's very calm, all the kids are very calm inside. The teachers have got it all under control. Um, they're a bit nervous at one point, of course, but um, no, it's all, it's all under control in there. It was two hours before it was safe for students to leave the grounds. It was like there was an orange light, orange spotlight on the school. Some people were a bit stressed out and there was just water and everyone was getting like calmed down. I rang my daughter who uh, said that they were locked down in the classroom, so we were very concerned. and. Um, Obviously they had a good plan which they stuck to and um, we were lucky enough to be able to come down and get them. I was scared. I didn't know exactly what was going on. Police believe this fire was deliberately lit on Sunday, flaring up again today at 6am near Progress Drive, close to the school, and a popular cycling and walking path. It was brought under control quickly, but then this. This blaze went from controlled to an emergency situation in a matter of minutes. First, it burned through the grounds of Perth Waldorf School and then jumped North Lake Road. Investigators don't know what caused the second flare-up today. Authorities say it's possible it was a device planted by a firebug that would catch fire easily in the bushland. The arson squad's strike force Vulcan is on the case. It's extremely upsetting, but um, hopefully they catch them before they do any more damage. Um, at this stage it was bush, but obviously if it's houses or infrastructure or people, then um, they need to be caught. It's got to ask the public to keep their eyes open, be vigilant, keep looking out there use crime stoppers and uh, ring up where they can. We had security from City of Coburn here both mornings at 6am unlocking public toilets. They didn't see anything and within 15 to 20 minutes we had fires develop. Alice Pooley, Nine News.